everybody welcome to come eat with aggie i'm in a new kitchen right so what does that mean i am back in america everything happened since the last video um that i posted up some transitions are going on with my husband's job so we're back here until further notice so i'm in my brother's kitchen and i'm about to cook because i'm hungry and it's cold here it's like 120 degrees in kuwait it's like 70 degrees here that's cold to a person that's lived in 120 degree weather what best thing to make? Soup. So I'm going to make a butternut squash soup today for you guys. And yeah, we're gonna start cooking. I'm so glad to be back in America. You have no idea. The resources and everything that I have here, I'm so, so glad to be back. And it provides me to continue to push this book out. It's coming out really soon, so you guys stay tuned. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to, let's start off with showing you how to prep the butternut squash for it to roast in the oven. I will come back and show you guys what the next, what's the next step. We're going to actually blend it, kind of like the tomato soup. We're going to, it is going to be smooth and delicious and fitting for this cold weather. So let's get to cooking. So now what I'm going to do, you guys, is just add my vegetable stock, and I think I'm going to add part stock, part water, it's just depending upon how I'm feeling. This will not take long because the butternut squash is already cooked, and you saw how I halved it earlier in the video. You can always peel the butternut squash and cube it if it's easier for you, um, but you ain't cooking unless you done burnt some fingertips off, so uh, <laughs> that's what I just did. I'm gonna add a little stock, and then I'm going to taste it to see if I need any more seasoning. And then I'm gonna add maybe about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg to it, but I will see you guys. So just follow along with me on the video. Y'all know how I like to cook and add stuff. So it definitely needs some salt. Sea salt, a little pepper. I think I'm gonna add a little garlic powder and um, some nutmeg to it. So I put um, a few sprigs of thyme in there and I'm adding uh, a little nutmeg or allspice, same thing to me, for real. I want it to taste like coolness. Taste it again. Garlic and onion. And I'm gonna blend it. Taste it on the It's a little thicker than what I want, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more vegetable stock to it just to kind of thin it out. Because I want it to 
want it to be like soup, I don't want it to be like baby food. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till it cools down. I'm actually, I actually am going to transfer it over to uh, my sister in love's Vitamix because I want it to be just a smooth, soupy consistency. So while this is cooling and kind of letting the um, seasonings marry together, I'm going to just saute a little spinach and the rest of that butternut squash um, to top this soup off with. And I'm gonna make me some cornbread. I only did a small portion of this because everybody might not want a topping with spinach and the butternut squash, but I just want it to wilt down so I'm just going to add the cube with enough squash and kind of saute that all together. When I tell you, this is gorgeous. And how cute is this cutting board? This cutting board is actually from Pinky Promise um, Boutique. But it says, serve one another in love. Genesis 513. It's so super gorgeous. But this suit, let me get it clear. It's so beautiful. So, time to taste it. Like, did I spill some on my chin? This is so good. It's so hearty and so warming and so homey. Oh, try it, you guys. I hope you like it. So, recipe is going to be in the box below. Um, click subscribe. Tell your mama and grandma them, auntie, uncle them. And I'm back in the States. I'm probably gonna have a lot of special guests come on now because I'm back home near my friends and just getting everybody to come and fellowship and eat with me. I love you guys. 